Little Demon debuted earlier this week on FX, and it's a show about Satan's daughter, the Antichrist, with Danny DeVito as Satan. You're a girl. The future is female. I support and believe you. Now, if that doesn't sound like one of the greatest concepts of all time, then I don't know what to tell you. Not only that, but there are DeVitos, plural, involved in this production, as Satan's daughter Chrissy is voiced by Danny's real-life daughter, Lucy. Lucifer. FX released the first two episodes at once, and they're both awesome. At face value, the show's art style looks like just another Rick and Morty clone, but the concept here actually manages to distinguish itself in a clever yet familiar way. Instead of a sci-fi-leaning, interdimensional series of escapades, this time around it's mythologically based, relying instead on traversing the metaphysical realm to go between realities. This isn't hell? Shit, no. This is the metaphysical realm. Oh, fancy. Hipsters call it the fringe, which makes me want to punch a hole in my face. Huh. Episode one features a great look into the metaphysical realm, which resembles something straight out of a Hieronymus Bosch painting. As a pilot episode, it does an excellent job at setting up the premise for the show, that Chrissy, the spawn of Satan, must come to terms with her abilities as the Antichrist. Apparently Chrissy's mother, Laura, voiced by the ever-absurd Aubrey Plaza, has been uprooting Chrissy every few months, moving from town to town in an effort to throw Satan off their trail. This all comes to a head in a moment straight out of Stephen King's Carrie, where Chrissy inadvertently unleashes her powers to unalive two bullies. The use of these powers then allows Satan to geolocate her position and kick off the central plot. For a pilot, I thought this episode was really impressive, as it not only illustrates how humorous the show is, but how extreme it is as well. Little Demon is willing to push limits, in its very first episode no less, to a place that you simply have never seen before in an adult animated series. I definitely can't show you the specific clips on YouTube, so you just have to watch it to see what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'd rather fist a dog than be in a relationship, Darlene. Lambskin? What are you, a druid? You're so retro. Episode 2 kicks off with the hilarious take of Satan teaching Chrissy how to possess people for their own amusement. This then leads to the introduction of the demon Asmodeus. Who in this universe is the demon that governs the ability to possess others. Satan double crosses Asmodeus, because of course he would, and as such Asmodeus possesses Chrissy while her spirit is possessing others. This leads to some hilarious body swamping shenanigans, culminating in an over the top ending that had me in stitches. One last note about the show, according to the FX website, there will be some serious talents appearing this season, from Mel Brooks to Arnold Schwarzenegger, who will apparently be involved in a twins parody, to Michael Shannon. Has anyone seen the tip of my dick? Little Demon comes out of the gate with an extremely strong introduction, showing real promise to not just be a hilarious new show, but to be something that'll end up pushing the boundaries of what you can expect from an adult animated series. Considering I had pretty tepid expectations for this one, expecting it to just be okay at best, I'm completely floored. And considering I'm not really seeing anyone else talk about this show, I might as well do my part to raise some awareness, as I definitely want to see more of Little Demon and more shows like it. Little Demon is out now on FX and Hulu. So go watch it. And while you're here, also check out some other shows I think are worth watching. Have a good one. Take it easy. So we're square, right? Dinner in two weeks is my favorite spot. The ground round. I'm buying. <laughs>